Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna share with you five gourmands that maybe you heard about them here and there. I don't have a box of myself, I only got samples and I just felt the need to share this with you because let me tell you, these five gourmands are just incredible, are amazing Maybe you've heard of one of them, but the other ones you definitely didn't and you need to try You need to try them. One, yes, is quite expensive but all of the other ones, the other four are not that expensive Like, that, they are good, like price, the price is, is good, okay? Um, and they're just to die for, like to die for So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in all right, let's start. I got in here um, from Greta. I already did a video with all of the samples that she, she sent me from um, House of Siage. She sent me, I told you in that video, more samples, not just from House of Siage, most of them from House of Siage, but she sent me other samples as well. Have other fragrances that maybe are more floral, um, that different and not necessarily a good one that I really, really like. But these two, let me tell you, these two are just absolutely amazing she talked about one of them the other one i don't think she talked about but it's just like that good that i have i have to tell you about them the first one that she sent me and i was so excited because she made me want to buy it and then when she told me that she's gonna send me a sample i was like okay i'm not gonna blind buy it now i'm just gonna wait for the sample and then i'm gonna see let me tell you i'm buying it okay i'm buying it we have from Narcotica Dulce Diablo When I saw the notes, when I saw the name, when I saw her video Her video, oh, videos, videos Because she didn't talk about this one just once She talked about it like quite a lot of times And I was like, Greta, just stop, stop, stop I don't want another gourmand I don't need another gourmand I don't need one But I want one So I was like, you know what, maybe not. And then she sent me the sample and I'm like, maybe, yes, definitely, yes, I need this. Dulce Diablo, um, it's just like from the opening, let me tell you what it has. I don't have the notes in front of me, but you can definitely smell some of the notes that are listed. You can smell the cognac, you can smell the rum. It's not just that. It has some apricot. Mm, but then it has some dried apricot and you can definitely smell that and it has some cacao as well has other notes has other notes i'm just not smelling them what i get with this fragrance is this amazing gourmand boozy but still sweet not overly sweet not sweet to the point where it's getting annoying okay you have those like dried apricots, you can definitely smell them with some cacao chocolate on top and then you put some cognac and some rum. It's so beautiful. It's a boozy gourmand. Normally with gourmands, I like, I'm not the biggest fan of like boozy fragrances, but this one is not boozy to the point where it literally smells like you put some, like you spill some cognac on it. No, you can tell it's a fragrance. But it's just so delicious. But just for me, for me, usually boozy notes, mm, they don't really work. But in this one, with that cacao, with those like dried apricots, oh, it's stunning. It's stunning. Here in the UK, I couldn't find a sample. So that's why I was like planning to blind buy it. Now I, I tested it, I smelled it, so I'm definitely buying it. But if you can find a sample, get yourself a sample because this thing is absolutely amazing, especially for this time of year. It's not your typical gourmand, okay? Doesn't necessarily smell like cherry or just caramel or just vanilla. No, it's a bit more complex than that. But it's, it's such a beautiful scent. And don't be afraid when you see cognac and rum. It is boozy, but it's not to the point where, like I told you, it smells like you split your, your, your drink on you. No. <sighs> It's such a good one, like such, such a good one. Thank you, Greta. Now I'm gonna buy it. Amazing. And the next one that she sent me, it's actually a dupe. Let me tell you. It's a dupe from Dior Fev Delic Delicious. 
I never I was never able to pronounce this okay and this one is from from Dapper I never I know thought I'm gonna search for a deal for Fev because Fev right now I still don't know if it's discontinued if it's not you can still kind of find it but you have to go to a boutique and all the time when I went on holiday they had Fev on display so I was able to test it when I was going on holiday and when I was coming back in the duty free um, store and I didn't like it like I was like it's something in here that I just don't like I just don't like it I want to love it it's fair everyone loves it I want to love it but it's just something about it that I don't like and um, that fragrance has a very strong tonka bean note it has some cherry basically the dapper version it's fev but they they made this cherry stronger like way way stronger Ooh, li listen from someone she told me she told me listen i'm sending you this um this sample it's a deal but i don't like fev and this this is like way 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 better than fev for a fraction of the price and when I saw it, I was like, okay, fine. I don't like Fev either. Like, hey, team, we do, like we don't like Fev, sorry. If she likes this one, maybe I'm... It's amazing. What they did with Fev is just amazing. It, it smells like Fev, definitely. But a cherry note, it's way stronger. And it's way more gourmand. Fev had this like powdery thing that was just like... It was not my cup of tea, okay? But this one is just amazing. I, obviously, it's from America. So when I'm buying it, I'm going to have to pay some um, delivery uh, charges. It's, it's not like the cheapest to be delivering here. But if you're from the US, check this one out. Because you can get, I feel like, the 15 ml. You can get a 30 ml. This is so good. Especially right now when Fed is like almost impossible to find. Normally, I have so many niche. I have like uh, designer private collections and I like to like support the original creator but in this case this is way better you can actually find it okay so you don't have to go to a Dior boutique to test Fev and it's way better for a fraction of the price highly 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 recommend you go and check this one out um just basically go on their website and just type fev and you're gonna find it you, i think you can buy like 3 ml 10 ml 15 something like that but it's so good and it's so strong like for a dupe you're not getting any alcohol in the open nothing like that it generally smells like a flanker of the original fev but for a fraction of the price and way better in my opinion so um yeah this one it's absolutely amazing thank you greta I'm gonna place an order for both of them um, and now let's move on to other three perfumes that I discovered myself basically just looking on YouTube um, on Fragrantica and things like that we have the first one that if she's watching this video she, she has to watch this video she's gonna watch this video Greta you have to test this Aoun Madon Aoun Madon from Pierre Cui <laughs> I just checked before i literally just checked before like two minutes ago how to pronounce the last name Guimo? i think it was Guimo. was it Guimo? i can't i can't remember i can't literally honestly guys when it comes to french i'm the worst like i checked two minutes ago how to pronounce it i pronounced it like five times to remember and i already forgot i'm sorry i'm, I'm just i'm just not good Give me name in any other language, I'm fine. Give me a name in French, my brain just stops working. This perfume, I saw it on... I'm going to put his YouTube channel in here. I got so many perfumes on my wish list from his YouTube channel. Literally, he covers just gourmands. Like 90% of the fragrances that he covers are gourmands and they're not the most popular ones. He talked about this one and I was sold by what he said, but then I looked at the notes and I was like, it doesn't really like, I don't know, the notes are not that interesting, but when you smell it, this perfume has cardamom in the top, 
hard notes we have Gayak Wood, um, Uganda Vanilla and Vanilla and base notes we have Animalic Notes and Sandalwood. When I'm telling you this thing is super creamy sandalwood with the most beautiful vanilla that you can find and I'm getting a bit of cardamom as well. It's such a creamy, almost a bit dry vanilla. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I got the sample because I said, I saw in a video, I was like, you know what? I can find the sample here in the UK. I'm just gonna get the sample. It's amazing. Like I'm placing an order right when I finish recording this video, I'm gonna place an order. Such a beautiful, like woody, not wood, wood. I'm trying to, to make the difference, you know, to pronounce it differently. It's very hard for me. Wood and wood. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Because everyone in the comments all the time when I'm saying one of these two is like, oh, you pronounce it good. It's not correct the way you pronounce it. I know. I know. I just cannot. I'm trying my best. It's very woody. Woody. Did I get that right? I think so. Like sandalwood. Sandalwood with some gayak wood and then... The vanilla, the vanilla that is creamy, that is just amazing. It's not too sweet, but it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of something, not necessarily a perfume, but it reminds me of the smell of something that I just love and I can't, if I remember, I'll just put it probably on the screen, but I can't right now. But this fragrance, it's a stunning, stunning vanilla for the fall time. I'm going to buy it right when I finish recording this video. Next, from the same brand. We have Souk de Ben. Souk de Ben. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. We have notes benzoin, brown sugar, and witch hazel. This perfume for me, um, it's kind of in between Al Contrario from Tiziana Terenzi and Draje from Reminisa. Draje, I know Draje has obviously an almond note. And then, al contrario, is this like lactonic, a bit with some coffee, with some vanilla, with some sandalwood. It's kind of there. It's obviously it doesn't have any sandalwood, but again, I'm getting this like creaminess, the, this powderiness, and then it's super sweet and creamy. When you see brown sugar, you probably think it's gonna be like super sugary, super like artificial. No. It smells again like a, the most beautiful sandalwood, even though it's not listed, infused with this like milk and sugar. It's delicious. Get yourself a sample. It's so good. It gives me a bit of like almond it touches, like powdery almond, the one that it's in uh, Draget. But then this like milkiness and creaminess that Al Contrario from Tiziana Terenzi has is kind of in between for me. Do I need this one? Absolutely not. Do I want it? Yes. Am I gonna buy it? Yes. Beautiful, 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 beautiful scent. Get yourself a sample because you can find, again, this time I'm not sure you can find, if you can find a sample here um, in America, but you can find one here in the UK on Bloom Perfumery. I think, yeah, I got them from there. Not sponsored, I just paid for them. I'm just telling you where you can find them. Uh, yeah, so this one is absolutely stunning. And the last one we have from Bastille, En Dieu Trois Soleil. We have Taube Notes, Bergamot, Grapefruit, Pink Pepper, Hard Notes, Almond, Heliotrope, Incense, and Old Paper. Old Paper? Old Paper, okay. Uh, I don't look for the notes, to be honest. Base Notes, Benzoin, Tonka Bean, and Vanilla. This fragrance, when you first spray it, you're definitely getting the bergamot and then uh, the pink pepper like tingles your nose a little bit but immediately after like five seconds you're getting this sweet sugary almond with the tonka with the vanilla and a bit of incense just a tiny bit it gives me vibes of the dry down from Ambre, Ambre Platin Okay, that one has a very, very peppery opening and the dry down is kind of like a sweet gourmand, gourmandish amber. 
this one is an almondy vanilla tonka with some pepper on top that bergamot is going like the, that bergamot is almost like gone we are still smelling something a bit peppery but is that too peppery like that one opening it's a bit too much for me such a good one again and then like the dry down dry down you're getting mostly almonds and vanilla such a good one and it's pretty inexpensive i think you can find i think it's a 60 ml for how much was it 80 pounds something like that the bottle is not the most beautiful bottle but for niche it's a very good price it's stunning like i love it i genuinely love it it's peppery though not very peppery but you can smell the pepper get yourself a sample thank me later this is the one that's not that gourmand in the opening but trust me in like five minutes this is gonna be like almonds and vanilla and tonka bean and it's just stunning and this was very very strong on my skin which obviously we cannot complain about that so yeah the last scent and the last gourmand that i feel like you have to try is on du tra soleil from bastille and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below um what other gourmands you want me to test what gourmands you discovered and nobody else knows about them uh, let's make them a bit more popular okay shall we and yeah don't forget to check greta's uh, videos i'm gonna leave her youtube channel in the description box because i absolutely love her and she's making amazing fragrance videos uh, she really knows her stuff okay um so yeah that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video obviously don't forget to do a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel all of that active act i can't talk activate the notification bell please so all the time when i'm uploading a video you're going to be notified you're going to know you're going to be the first one that was it i'm going to see you in my next video Bye bye